Well, good afternoon. What a wonderful way to start the program this afternoon with the beautiful choir. You know, this is the future of our country. And when you see these beautiful, bright young people and their beautiful voices, it really makes you understand why each and every one of us are here today doing the work that we do. It is about making sure that those young people and our children, our grandchildren, all have the opportunity to live a quality of life comparable to anyone in this country. That's the reason the ARC was created was to be sure that the Appalachian region from southern New York to northern Mississippi would have parity, would have, would have equity with the rest of the country. And so I'm here to say thank you to Congressman Hal Rogers, certainly to Executive Director Colby Hall for the work that they're doing together through SOAR to create that equity and parity in Kentucky. And I appreciate that so much. I am honored and humbled to represent the Appalachian Regional Commission. And I'm also honored to be working with SOAR to have an exchange of ideas for collaboration to shape our Appalachian region to reach its full potential. SOAR has been a wonderful partner to work with ARC because we have this shared goal. We understand that we can do so much more together than any of us can do individually. We know that as recipients, SOAR has certainly been recipients of past ARC power grants. These grants that help fund our economic diversification projects in the Appalachian region for our most coal impacted communities. And I'm so pleased to be able to announce here today at the SOAR Summit that ARC is once again providing a grant to SOAR as they continue to drive transformational growth in Kentucky. Here's the best part. $500,000 is being awarded to SOAR for their recruiting individuals in industry for digital employment, which is a remote worker recruitment program. So, <laughs> This grant will continue to help Eastern Kentucky compete in that ever-growing digital global marketplace. I had the distinct honor today of meeting so many students from schools around Eastern Kentucky and their technology knowledge, their uh, digital knowledge. I believe children today are just born wired uh, in a totally different way. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful for us dinosaurs uh, that they can take care of us in the future. It's going to create new high paying jobs in Eastern Kentucky. It will slow depopulation, and it will attract workers to the area who will contribute to Appalachia's economy while they are enjoying the beauty of our Appalachian mountains and our cultural heritage. Again, I just want to thank every member and contributor to SOAR for the work that you do. And we certainly hope that this grant will just help this organization to continue to be that catalyst to drive positive change throughout Eastern Kentucky. Since I was with you here last year, my first SOAR summit, I, I'm proud to announce to you that as we have seen the evidence that what you're doing is really working throughout this area. It's making a difference. 
in areas of regional tourism, infrastructure development, and substance use disorder. At ARC, we are keenly aware of the ways that substance use disorder impacts our community. It impacts every family. It, it impacts every workplace. And so um, it, it is all about that development and workforce problem that challenges our communities. And it affects the day-to-day -day quality of life for so many Appalachian families. And that's where INSPIRE comes in. INSPIRE is ARC's strong program that supports initiatives for individuals recovering from substance use disorder, but it's a continuing program. It's not just about rehabilitation. It's about rehabilitation to support services, to training, to a job, to supporting uh, an effort into a career so that an individual can safely become an asset in the community. It gives back hope and a sense of promise and purpose to people who thought that was gone forever. And so in September 2022, ARC awarded $12 million to 33 projects across 11 states for INSPIRE grants. And I was recently presented some data, evidence uh, of some very positive news this study was done by the National Opinion Research Center at the University of Chicago. The study showed that drug overdose mortality rates are declining across eastern Kentucky. So the work that you're doing in your communities is having an impact. It's saving lives across the region. And so I want to say to you, thank you. INSPIRE is only one of the ways that ARC is collaborating with our state partners to revitalize our region. I mentioned our power grants earlier for coal-impacted communities. And on Monday, we announced our largest power funding package to date. This round of power funding included 52 projects across nine states totaling nearly $47 million. 11 power grants were given right here in the state of Kentucky. So I'd like to invite Congressman Hal Rogers to join me on the stage as we promote and declare those 11 winners. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll do the first one there. Uh, the first one is to the Perry County Fiscal Court. $1.5 million toward their rowdy trailhead and campground project. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't y'all get too rowdy up here on the stage. <laughs> the second one is to Tech Center Incorporated, which will receive $1.5 toward their Tech Center Skilled Trades and Training Program. And number three, University of Pikeville, Inc., which will receive $1.5 million toward their UPIC Ag Tech Innovation Center of Excellence. Thank you.
The next is to the Kentucky Horticultural Council, which will receive $1,458,212 toward their Growing Eastern Kentucky's Controlled Environment Protection Ecosystem. <laughs> Number five is uh, Big Sandy Area Development District, which will receive $1.2 million toward their agricultural apple sorting and packing facility. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And our next, Kentucky Community and Technical College System, which will receive $1,137,500 toward their Preparing the Future of American Agriculture Ag Tech Apprenticeship. Number seven, Community Ventures Corporation, which uh, will receive $1.5 million toward their Appalachian Access to Capital, Phase Two, Capital and Technical Assistance. Okay. Mountain Association which will receive 50,000 toward their EKY Community Accelerator Project. Mm -hmm. uh, number nine is uh, Kentucky Equine Education Project, KEEP, Foundation, which will receive $50,000 toward their Eastern Kentucky Equine Community Center planning project. Number 10, the Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky which will receive $48,422 toward their Southeast Kentucky Regional Experience Package Planning Project. And again, the Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky, which will receive $46,838 toward their Southeast Kentucky Regional Trails Planning Project. Congratulations. So again, a big congratulations to all of these grantees as they continue their work towards their Southeast, uh, toward Eastern Kentucky's coal impacted community revitalization and uh, ecosystem economic development. We appreciate the work that will be ongoing and we look forward to our continued work with them. Again, thank you, Congressman, for all of your efforts. Certainly our funding comes from the federal level from Congress. They have put great confidence in us when they give us this money, and we hope that we make them proud every day in the work that we're able to do across our Appalachian region. Certainly, it is always a joy and a pleasure to work with our partners here in Kentucky, and I look forward, as I said, again, to continuing our great work together. Thank you so much.